Hi, this is Ryan Gwilym with Expert Village, and I'm going to talk to you about um, how to be the dominant one over both of your dogs. If you have one dog or more, or you have multiple pets in the house, uh, everyone in the house should know that the humans are the leaders and the animals are the followers. So you do not allow one dog to be dominant over the other. I once had a guy ask me, you know, oh, has, have, have your dogs decided who's the dominant one yet? And I said, uh, yeah, me. So that's the mentality that you should have. Uh, your dog should know that neither one gets to take a toy from the other, you know, take the bone from the other, growl at each other, fight, anything like that. Um, they are both to, they are both equals, and I am number one, and they are number two. So that's the proper mentality when you're thinking about your dogs. If you have other pets, uh, say the dog and the cat don't get along, you're going to have to take some time one day when, uh, when your dog's already had his daily exercise and let him be in the same room in a calm state of mind with the cat. So you need both animals to be calm and then put them in the same room together to be by each other. Uh, you may have to submit the dog like we talked about in the other clip and then have the cat right next to him and uh, you'd have to, to make sure that you didn't stop the, uh, the training until both animals are completely calm right next to each other. And it's pretty amazing when it happens, but it can definitely be done.